Hello friends, welcome to communication skills for everyone. If you are watching this channel for first time, please subscribe. Today, let us go with Plastic God Box by Ambai. So, let us begin with about the author. So, C.S. Lakshmi Ambai, popularly known as Ambai, was born in 1944 in Coimbatore. She is a distinguished fiction writer in Tamil. Her works are characterized by her fascinate espousal of cause of women, humor, and a lucid, profound style and a touch of realism. She is the only Tamil writer to have uh, Tamil writer to have been included in the Picador Book of Modern Indian Literature, edited by Amit Chaudhary. She received a doctorate from Jawaharlal Nehru University in 1970 and now she is the director of sound and picture archives for research for women which is popularly known as Poro which is located in Mumbai. Many of her stories have been translated into English. The Library of Congress holds five of her writings in its collection. She is a a current member of the University of Michigan's uh, Global Feminism Project. She considers herself a feminist and lived a life without any compromise in gender-related issues. So, in her short story, The Plastic God Box, Amboy describes a mother who strives to make kids' life better life in this world. She sacrifices, she makes for her children are innumerable. In fact, nothing can come close to the love that a mother feels for her children. God could not be everywhere and so he invented mother. These words are off to the mother character who is portrayed by Amboy in this short uh, story or short fiction. So Amma, every day it had been an actual action for Amma of keeping some rice in the windowsill calling out for the crows in Telugu. In spite of uh, Dhanam's uh, father's transfers to various lands, she communicated with the birds in the particular language. According to the Appa's request, Amma had to go and fly to America to visit her daughter Bharati, so Dhanam's elder sister, who is now a divorcee. So Bharati's later after her reaching, Bharati got a call from airline authorities ordering for pickles on contract as they had tasted what her mother had bought during custom checking. She also heard from her neighbors that mother had uh, prepared palakova with saffron for the pregnant women. Still, it was a mystery to Bharati why mother had bought kumkum pugo and also still not asked any question about Bharati's husband or her diverse life. Even after going there, Amma was keeping food from for crows, but squirrels had come to taste her food regularly. As it was a summer, she could see her mother's excitement to prepare varams such as an active mother she was. She could see her speaking, politics, cooking, caring, and many other worldly matters. What a life of mother meant for herself. Once they had to visit her friend uh, Tilanga's house. Tilanga's mother had been her Amma's friend. It was quite natural. They became close in their conversation. Tilanga asked Amma if she does regular puja and rituals even after coming abroad. Amma replied that she had a plastic box in which she carried her idols of her favorite gods and puja materials wherever she went. After her returning, Bharati felt for her mother and the sweet memories of her childhood days at their own house with her brother Dinakaran and sister Dhanam. So, Dhanam's letter, now it was the turn of Dhanam's to take care of her mother. After their father demise, Amma was staying with her three children in turn. So at Dhanam's house, there was not much work for Amma as Dhanam's husband took care of his own cooking and did not disturb anybody. He had his own culinary skills and uh, Dhanam felt that it was her husband's freedom where she cannot interfere. But Amma could not understand what was uh, the so-called freedom. 
dynamite or the plant to fledge their jewels and get back their own house uh, which was coming for sale. They also asked their brother Dinakaran to support Amma financially every month for they felt that Amma needed a big space for her to do puja and to live a life of her own terms. It was also decided that the Dhanams should visit her now and then to confirm about her good health. Even Dhanam's daughter wanted to spend more time with her grandmother listening to her. While Dhan was writing all this, she saw her mother as usual rocking in her chair, looking at the parrots, sipping and plying in the garden trees. So it shows that now the plastic box was filled with many puja items and Amma was not able to carry it in, the, in that small box. She required a better container as well. She uh, needed a room of herself. The uncomplaining mother's dream was going to become true and that was the written gift of her uh, children to her mother for her unconditional love. So it shows that. Why well, thank you for watching. Subscribe communications skills for everyone for more academic and educational videos.